All right, we're just going to jump right into this video here. It is us building a concrete retaining wall, showing you guys how we go about building a concrete retaining wall and what it takes here. So let's get right into it. You can see my guy here. We're doing some pre-drilling of the holes. And now this is for the kickers. If you look in the background, you can see the guys making the kickers here. And we use a DeWalt table saw as well as the Makita sliding compound saw. This allows us to cut the stakes to our correct height. And it's kind of more for efficiency, so we're not cutting them one at a time with the uh, with the skill saw here. So this one can cut two at a time, possibly four at a time. So what we're doing here is we're getting the correct stake height for our two by fours. And th by this wall being five feet, these stakes are probably gonna end up being eight feet. 18 inches will be into the footing. About two feet will be into the footing after we uh, hit them down with the sledgehammer here. So you can see me passing them to JD and we're just kind of lining them up. And on the next scene here, we're gonna have the guys come back, kind of work two, uh, two, a team of two, should I say here. So right here, you can see uh, my guy Cheeky here, he's uh, hitting the stakes in. For each stake that we put up, we put about three kickers. Now these kickers are probably about two to three feet in length here and depending on the soil i have some clips later on you guys to see where our kickers are actually 10 feet here so we just hitting them in here and again our, our our stakes are normally about four to five feet on center kind of depending on the uh, height of the wall here so you can see we got them all lined up and we're pretty much ready to get the sledgehammer and hit them in you probably see our two string line now ideally our the back of our two by four would barely touch that and we'll just start hitting them into the ground you can see jd and my guy carlos up front in front of them and they're hitting them my cheeky and um louise is in the back here um putting the stakes in it's normally three per uh three per uh um stake that we put in and this is just called the back. We call it the back or the skeleton to line it up so we can add the uh, the two by twelves on it. So here's a couple shots of uh, from the drone, kind of giving guys a perspective. This wall was 110 feet long. Here's our string line. It's perfect. Every two by four pretty much touches that string line barely. So we have the uh, we have added the two by twelves on it. So normally when we add the two by twelves. Once we put that first one down, it's graded and I mean, it's level and plumb. Everything else pretty much stack up like Legos. Now this wall here was about eight and a half feet tall. So each one of these stakes are about 10 feet. Now this is the first stake that goes into the ground. So as this wall gets taller, we're gonna add another stake and you'll see later on in the video here. So here it is again, this is our uh, DeWalt saw table saw it's a good saw but it's that, that we go through the battery pretty quick because of uh that old wood if you got new wood we can um go through it pretty quickly but what we used that for was to cut our uh kickers you can see here you can see how long they are i mean they're about 10 feet long because this is sand now again we got that first board down once you get that first board down everything else stacks on it just pretty much like legos and you can see here where we attach that second 2 by 12 to bring it up to a total of 10 feet so basically that's a 10 foot 2 uh 2 by 4 i'm sorry basically a 2 foot 2 by 4 and we brought it all the way to the bottom and you can see as we're going to start stacking these boards it allows us to uh build the wall taller and we use a bunch of tools here. This is our duplex nailer. We got a Makita skill saw. We use Makita tools. I think when I first started going cordless, they just had a battery deal. So I just kind of stuck with them. Um, they do a good job. We also got a Makita rotor hammer as well. So all our, uh, if you guys like to get those tools, we got an affiliate link down below. And here is the wall itself. So check it out. You want to check the back of this wall out here. It's a lot of stakes we use here to really make sure this was uh, secure. Next video is gonna be us installing the rebar in the footing and on the wall, we're gonna show you guys how we go about um, installing that. So you guys got any questions, any comments, leave those down below. I just wanted to get this out. We get a lot of questions uh, and comments about how do we do certain things here. So this is our little top secret. Um, 
if you're a do-it-yourselfer, probably still recommend you call a contractor out. If you're in the San Francisco Bay Area, you can hit us up. Hope everyone's doing well, staying positive, and it's cool to ask for help.